Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to script a disappearing block. So you can see we have a block here. This is useful for obbies, by the way. It's going to fade away, and then three seconds it's going to reappear. Since I'm still standing on it, it gets buggy, but all right. So you can see it disappears, and then three seconds it's going to reappear, and then we can do it all over again. This is very useful if you're making an obby game or like a spleef game or something. I don't know, but or a mini game game. <laughs> um, but if you guys are excited for this video and you want to learn how to do it, leave a like and subscribe. Join the giveaway that we're doing. I'll leave a link in the video of how to join. And also, um, join the group, join the Discord, and see you in the video. And he disappears. Goodbye. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is create our part that's going to disappear. So, Here's our part, I guess. Um, change the color of it to um, cyan because I like that color. And oops, um, we'll change the material of it to neon. Make it very visible. There we go. There is our part. Oh, also, we gotta make sure it's anchored. All right. Um, no, so I'll just go to model and insert a spawn here. So I spawn right next to it. Oh gosh, the spawn is cyan too. All right. Um. Anyway, so in this part here, we can go ahead and insert a script. And in the script, you're going to do a script dot parent dot touch, not transparency dot touch, colon connect function dot false function hit. And then we're going to do um, if hit dot parent colon find first child. Hum humanoid. Then, alright. A lot of times I'm writing this line right here. I misspell something. So, alright. I didn't misspell anything. That's good. Alright. Um. Then we're going to do. We're going to create a loop. So we're going to do while true. Do so. This is going to repeat itself, and we're going to put a weight zero point zero five. Right there, uh, I'm going to do script dot parent dot transparency will be equal to script equal script um dot parent dot transparency and then let's just do plus zero point uh, let's just do zero point zero two for now and we'll see how that looks. All right, and I'm going to do if script dot parent dot transparency is greater than or equal to one then we're going to script dot parent dot can collide not c frame can collide will be equal to um false and script dot parent dot um transparent no we already did the transparency thing that's what we were just doing all right so now we're going to do just add in a wait. And we're going to wait uh let's do three seconds before it reappears. We're going to do script dot parent dot transparency equal to zero and script dot parent dot um can collide be equal to um true. And then we're going to add in a break here. Because well actually I'll show you if we don't add in a break, this is what will happen. I play it here, and when it starts, you see it's going to disappear, and in five seconds, it'll reappear. But you'll see that it keeps going on and off because the function hasn't been broken. It's going to keep repeating forever. So that's why we need to add in a break here. That single word will fix that bug, and yeah, there we go. So uh, actually. I think this is too fast, right? 0 0.01. All right, now if we start it, all right, and we can step on this part here. There you go. You can see it fades away. In three seconds, it will reappear, and then we can step on it again. It's going to fade away, and then it will reappear. And since we're still standing on it, I will do it all over again. But there you go, guys. You can see. It works, but just something extra. If you have like a million of these parts and you're making like a spleef game or something, um, 
and you want to change it, so just change one <coughs> all the scripts. We're going to have to go to all the um, scripts to change it. So in order to fix that, just to make it easier, just add in a script server storage, and you can just copy the script or cut it actually, and paste it into the server storage script. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna rename it disappear. Disappear. There we go. And I'm going to do um, game dot server storage server game dot server storage dot um I'm going to do disappear colon clone dot parent and parent will be equal to script dot parent and we're going to do script colon destroy. So uh, now if you just put this this script that we just wrote right here and every part that you have here whenever if you want to change the disappear script you'll just have to edit one script and it'll automatically be cloned to all uh, the scripts in the entire game you can see if you step on it it's still going to disappear because um, you can see a disappear script is in there and the other script is gone and there we go. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And remember, we're doing a giveaway right now. So um, check that out. I'll leave a link in the description to the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.